LPT request what is your favorite rule of thumb? I was at a work training. And one of the instructors reminisced on how he and his colleagues depended on so many rules of thumb back in the day. His examples were straightforward and made a lot of sense. It got my curiosity going. And I'd like to know some of your favorite rule of thumbs for life. Thank you. If you're giving a presentation just make three points because that's all anyone will remember. Repeat the three points at the beginning and at the end. Measure twice cut once. One under promise. Over deliver. That keeps everyone happy. Two never commit other people's time in the meeting where there is an ask. Always get back to them and check with the people who you are committing there may be priority. Work you don't know about or constraints you aren't aware of related to under promise. A game changer never comment negatively on someone's appearance unless it's something they can fix. In a few minutes. Booger in my nose? My shirt's inside out? My breath is stinky? Thanks friend. I walk funny? My shoes suck? Bro I'm probably already self-conscious about that. To piggyback never make fun of a person's smile or laugh unless you never want to see hear it again. Once as an incidence. Twice as a coincidence. Three or more times as a pattern. If you can do it in five minutes just do it now. I think it is useful to look at your life starting at age 18 or 20. Because before you're 18, you don't have a whole lot of control in what you're doing. So when you're 30 years old and having a midlife crisis switching careers, going back to school, not married yet, etc., etc., don't think of yourself as being 30 years old, but think of yourself as being autonomous for only about 10 years so far. With 35 40 more years until you hit retirement age. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Once you've got a task to do, it's better to do it than live with the fear of it. Say what you mean, mean what you say, but don't say it mean. Trust is easier to break than to earn. Never do business with friends or family. Rule of thumb don't send anything over work email that you wouldn't be comfortable with everyone else seeing. Assume best intent from others. We judge others on their actions. But expect others to know our intentions. Always compliment a choice rather than an attribute unless you know them really well or are romantically involved. Those shoes look great. That is a beautiful watch. Etc could save you causing anxiety, self-consciousness, embarrassment or perhaps even a trip to HR. Don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Don't stress about what you have to do tomorrow and can't do today. Actually measure your finger spans and joint lengths on your hands chances are. Several will match up with common measurements. And you can actually use your thumb. Digits. And combinations of hand parts to do good enough measurements for a number of tasks. My father had a specific finger span down so accurately he could crosscut lumber in a construction project in a pinch. Every now and then he'd have to go back and knock off another 1 8 to get it just right. But watching him measure multiple foot lengths that accurately with just his hand was amazing. Edit thank you for the gold. Kind stranger. The Pareto Principle If you want 80 of the results you only have to put in 20 of the effort. If you want that last 20 of s where the real hard work comes in the last 80 of the effort. This is a reframing of the original idea but it applies to a lot of things in life physical. Fitness. Financial health. New skills. Etc. It takes much longer to do it again than it would have taken to just do it right in the first place. UK here never drink in a pub that you can see from an Argos. Never put anyone's name in the address section of an email until you're ready to send it. Draft first. Add distribution list last learned this one the hard way. Never repeat what others have told you.
It generally always gets back to them and then they feel they can't trust you. If you demonstrate you can be trusted with confidentiality then people will tell you everything. Compliment loudly. Criticize quietly. Treat the cleaners janitors in your workplace with respect. They do an important job. Don't put it down, put it away. Just be a good person. It won't benefit you most of the time but it's the right thing to do. To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius minus 30 then divide by 2. Put the peanut butter on the mousetrap before arming it. Don't ask details. It's hard to type. If the solution looks too complex and hard to understand implement, it's probably not the best one. I have a rule about always doing things at the first chance you get. By this I mean if you need to use an ATM. Go to the first one you see on your way to your destination. The one you planned on going to nearer your destination might be out of cash. I've found this little change has saved me time and time again. Don't be a dick. Covers most things. There are always a number of rules of thumb. To figure the cost of labor. Price of the part by 1.5. All people deserve respect until proven otherwise. Every comes in threes or can be divided into thirds. When having something done, you can only pick two and you have to give up one speed. Quality. And budget. Also known as the unattainable triangle. If you have to borrow something more than three times, better to just buy it for yourself. Rule of thumb tens. If you're worried about something, will it matter at 10 seconds? 10 minutes? 10 hours? 10 years? Really puts things into perspective and helps alleviate some anxiety. Kiss keep it simple, stupid. Just be nice. This world is small and what you bite will bite you in the end. Work hard. Your name is your legacy. It will follow you. In the event of an emergency, don your own oxygen mask before helping the person in the seat next to you. Works on airplane. Works in life. Live below your means. My father would always tell me to. Have character, don't be one. Oh, and if you double the speed of something it wears out four times as fast in case you were designing a machine. It takes more effort to be lazy. Just put things away when you're done with them. Example you come in and throw your coat on the couch. Then a friend comes to your home so you shove the coat over. Then a pizza arrives so the coat needs to move to the wall hook. After a few days. The wall hook is full so you have to do a mass reorganization to get that coat and the rest of the hanging stuff where it belongs. Now you've moved the coat four times minimum and spent a dedicated hour reorganizing your wall hooks. Just put the coat back in the closet. One time touching it five seconds total. I'm pretty frugal generally I have the money it's just a mindset I was raised by. If there's something I really want, I let it simmer in my head for a while. If it's still relevant after X time I'll get it will make the effort to look for a decent price. If you're not sure, then the answer is no. If a person goes out of their way to tell you how incredibly smart they are, they are very likely dumb AF about most things. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. If you can do it under 5 minutes, do it now. Choose what makes you happy. You'll never know if you'll get hit by a bus tomorrow. Don't judge people parking in a handicap spot. Or who are in a mobility scooter. That don't look disabled. There are a lot of invisible disabilities out there. And the stigma can prevent them from using the tools that help. One of the main heuristics I use to help identify unreliable information is one I call the Schadenfreude Index. If you see or are sent an article or video that seems designed to produce Schadenfreude in the audience, then it's probably not very reliable information. Never trust a fart while wearing important clothes.